The cell is the basic form of life that can perform self-sustaining processes such as obtaining nutrition from food, absorbing essential nutrients, excreting waste materials, responding to the environment, and reproduction. Multicellular organisms like humans grow as we produce more cells through cell division like mitosis. In this video lesson, we will explain how the phases of mitosis contribute to the cell reproduction. A basic characteristic of an organism is its number of chromosomes. A chromosome refers to a more compressed and coiled status of DNA seen during cell division. The chromosome is just a condensed version of chromatin. Cells can be grouped into two types, somatic and sex cells. Somatic cells are meant for growth and various metabolic functions besides reproduction. They include cells of the skin, bones, and muscles found in most animals. Sex cells are meant for reproduction. They are sometimes called gametes. They include sperm cells in males and egg cells in females. They have half of the complete set of chromosomes. The cell cycle refers to the process happening within the cell as it prepares and executes cell division. It generally has three phases, the interphase, mitotic phase, and cytokinesis. The interphase is the longest phase which makes up 90% of the cell cycle. It is divided into three sub-phases, GAP1 or G1 phase, synthesis or S phase, and GAP2 or G2 phase. The G phases were named as GAP phases because no visible changes can be observed. At the G1 phase, the cell starts to grow. It is the longest subphase of the interface lasting about 10 hours. In the synthesis phase, an exact copy of DNA is synthesized. This cell is particularly important as the cell will later on undergo mitosis, where the exact same amount of DNA with the same genetic material will be partitioned to the daughter cells. The replication of DNA in the S phase ensures that the cell will have two copies of genetic material that can be inherited by the daughter cells during mitosis. During the G2 phase, the cell continues to grow and prepare for cell division by producing proteins important for chromosome and mitotic spindle formation. Mitotic phase or the mitosis involves the division of the cellular content. Mitosis is divided into four phases. We can use the acronym PMAT to easily remember the order of four phases namely prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. The first stage is prophase. Pro means before. This is where the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus begin to break down. Chromatin condenses and the double-stranded chromosomes are now connected by a centromere. The spindle fiber will also become well-developed in this phase. The second stage is the metaphase. Remember, M for middle. The sister chromatids will align themselves in the middle or at the equator of the cell. Each chromatid is now attached to a spindle by a structure called kinetochore. In anaphase, the centromere splits which separates the sister chromatids into a new single-stranded chromosomes. The chromosomes will now move away from one another and will migrate to the either side of the cell. The final stage of mitosis is the telophase. This is when microtubules detach from the kinetochore. Most of the time, signs of cytokinesis are visible during the telophase. But what is cytokinesis? Cytokinesis refers to the actual division of the cell in between its two poles that have same cytosolic and nuclear content to produce two identical daughter cells. Understanding mitosis means understanding how growth and repair happens because these two processes require more cells to be made. In this video, we'll learn that for somatic cells, 
the cell cycle consists of interphase and mitosis. Interphase includes the GAP1 phase, synthesis phase, and the GAP2 phase. The GAP phases involve the growth of the cell as it prepares for mitosis. The synthesis phase is when the genetic material of cell doubles. The mitotic phase are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. If you like more science videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.